Look at all the mess you made. Our donkeys have been with us for nine months or so. Every day I spend some time with them and now, after a nervous start, they've settled in really well. Come on, Nick. Go out. Simple chores and regular grooming and handling help them relax. Hoof care is especially important. But it took a while before they would stand still for me like this. We have found that these donkeys are smart and funny and interesting animals and they are a pleasure to have around. And we think they quite like it here too. When they are calm and relaxed, they become interested in what we are doing and then they are ready to learn new things. Because these donkeys are not just pets, they have an important job to do here. Actually, Eeyore is still a bit young, but I have been training the older one, Nell, to work with children as a therapy donkey. Before she can work with children, Nell has to learn to be patient and calm with everyone, even noisy and unpredictable children. And she has to trust me that I would never let anyone hurt her. She has to learn not to react whatever happens or wherever she's touched. So every day she gets brushed all over. There you go. Brushed you all over. And you kind of like it really, all that attention, don't you? Yes. Some children just need to stroke the animals, but some want to ride, sometimes with and sometimes without a saddle. So Nell and I have been working together on this for a few months now. This is a special saddle with a handle at the front for the children to hold on to. Goes around her tail to keep the saddle in place. We have horses here who already do this job, but these miniature donkeys are for really small children who might be scared of the big horses. Okay, Nell, gonna get your first ride up. We start her off with a large doll as a safe substitute for a child. She stays calm, but wary. Of course, she could run off and bite or kick any time, but she trusts me enough now to wait to see what will happen. How is that? Hmm. What a great posture he has, isn't it? A... Oh. It's the froggy. Either he's very tired or he fainted. Come on. Is that right? And nothing much happens, which is good, and means she'll be even less bothered the next time. Now, this is a bag of oats. What does it weigh? Um, not very much. Maybe... 10 kilo at the most. So this is the weight of a small child, approximately, and that's all that Nell will ever be carrying, just children up to maybe four years of age at the most. Not a bother. Not a bother, is it? You're good, good Nell, good donkey. This doesn't slide down now, but even if it does, that's good training as well. Because, um, yeah, we have to be, be prepared for everything, don't we? And again, nothing too frightening happens with the sack on board. Our donkeys are not only patient and cooperative, they are also very fluffy and soft, which makes them even more likeable. And now Suki helps us with the final stage in training and she does a great job too. Thanks Suki. And the latest news is that Nell is already working with children who maybe are nervous or can't speak or can't see or whatever. 
They are learning to trust Nell and their confidence and balance will rapidly improve over a few sessions. Together they can form a partnership that can make a very big difference to some children. Well done Nell and welcome on the team.